publishing. You have a value in uh, you have a value in God. All these things were weren't made without God. But he gave us the opportunity to live in this life, to breathe. But to come back to the realization that everything is done for a purpose. Man, woman, child. You have a purpose. If you're out there wondering if life, if this, if this is just life, going out, drinking, clubbing, doing all those things, and you're thinking that is life, it's not it. It's only found in Jesus Christ, true life, true peace. As my brothers were sharing, it's amazing. Amazing grace came down from heaven to save us. If there's something missing in your heart, you're trying to find out what it is. It's Jesus Christ. You know, Jesus Christ got nailed on the cross. The nails actually went through his hands. It actually went through his hands. To show man, whatever's missing in you, it's in Jesus Christ. You can have all the riches in the world. Amen. God bless you. Hey. <laughs> but if you don't have Jesus, you got nothing. That's it. If Jesus is not the centre of everything that you're doing. I guarantee you, man's wisdom can only take you so far. But his love and his understanding can take you further than what you think. Amen. And you know what? It's not even far. When two or three are gathered in his name, he's in the midst. Amen. Jesus said. As my brother shared, you don't have to go to church. Church came. It's coming to you. There's a question that I know you probably asked. Why would someone love us that much that he would take himself to the cross all the way for you? God bless you. Jesus Christ loves you guys. Love you guys. Uh, yeah, I talked to the brother and uh, sharing about Jesus. He said, you know, 
go up the cross and I asked him again, what does it really mean to you? And he just, he says he knows about it, but he doesn't really make sense. So I just shared about that. And, um, he says, God will ask every pain in our life to be cast onto me. And I pray over him afterwards. Struggling, she was just um, asking for help, and um, I was just encouraging her that um, put your trust in the Lord. Like um, sometimes you may not see um, see it happening, but God is working. And Amen. That's what it's going to be. And I was just um, encouraging her. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. yeah, I was just encouraging her. Uh, make sure that your relationship with God is is like this because. I just want to say that um, Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. There's no other Lord out there but Jesus Christ. Yes. He is the way and there's no other way. Yes. Your salvation is through Jesus Christ. Amen. You're saved by grace through faith. There's so much uh, darkness. Man loves darkness. But we need to get into the light. Amen. Because Jesus Christ yes. is the light. We are here to show the light. Oh wow. <laughs> I'll, I'll show you. That's cool. But, uh, Thank you, Jesus. I just want to thank the Lord for changing me. Amen. You know, I don't know what to say, but I could not change out of my own strength. Amen. There is through Jesus Christ that I am healed and I am set free. Yes. And I can testify without fear in front of you guys that Jesus Christ did set me free. And, you know, in the world I wouldn't have said this. I'd be like in the corner somewhere, hiding, but... Well, God did not give us the spirit of fear. Amen. God gave us the, the power, the love and the sound mind. And we're not ashamed to actually spread the gospel. Wow. Well, thank you for tuning in. It's a pleasure and it's a privilege just talking about Christ and living for Christ. Amen. 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 God bless you, bro. There's many false gods out there, but there's only one true God. The only God that sacrificed his life. The only God that came down to his children. And that's what we're trying to share with you today. Come to Jesus because he came to us. A lot of people tell me, but what about the good people? Does the good people go to hell? And I'll tell you one thing. If I could read your mind and you could read mine, would you still think the same thing? A lot of people look good outside, but inside they're liars. We know this. I know this. I used to say I'm a good person, but when my heart was evil. That's why we need Jesus to come inside our life, to transform our hearts and our minds to become pure and holy. So sometimes we lie to ourselves. What about the good people? Are you good? A lot of people think they're good. But if one thing I always say, if I could read your mind, would I still think the same thing about you? They'll say no. That's my encouragement to you, so now, um, Black Tongue. Come to Jesus. Because Jesus already came to you. He's waiting for us to turn to look upon his name. Look around you. Look around you. This is all gonna perish. All gonna be destroyed. Look around you. When you die, this will still here. Have to open your eyes, Brother. Open your eyes. Look at the distractions around you. You have to look at all your distractions. All the shops, the distractions. Can you see? The devil
devil put this all around us so we can be focused on man and not be focused on God. Don't you ever think about that? What happens if I die? You can try not to die, but at the end of the day, you will die. You can try to live longer, try to live your life to the fullest, but at the end of the day, you're going to die. But where do you go? And that's why Jesus came and said, I come here to save my children. I'll give you eternal life. You shall die, but you will not die the second death. You shall live. That's what I'm trying to push you today. If you look at all the religions today, if you look at uh, most of the Buddhists, look at all the religions, it's all about you, it's all about you. But if you look at our God, He sacrificed for us, it's all about Him. It's not what we do because a lot of people say, I'm just a good person, I just have to do my good works. But at the end of the day, we all know we have evil in all of us. I don't care how good you look, we all know we have evil in us. And that's why we need Jesus. That's why you need this King inside your life to transform us. And this is the reason why we're out here to push to you this King. Because He can change, if He changed my life, He can change yours. And don't think just because you go to church once a week, if that's enough. I want to share to you, you have to get to know Jesus and build a relationship with Him and be a 24-7 Christian, not a one, once a week Christian, everyday Christian. And that's what I want to share with you, Black Town. Today could be your last day, but if you want any prayers, you have any questions about the gospel, any questions, please come to any of us. We're more willing to answer your question and to pray for you. If anyone, in, um, if, if there's anyone in your family that has a disease or cancer, we can pray for them. We don't have to go overseas. We believe that the word of God will travel overseas and heal your family out there. If you want to praise God, praise God. God bless you. The reason why I'm a princess is because Jesus Christ is my King. And the awesome thing is that he can be your king today too. Um, one thing I want to share is that I was in a lot of darkness um, before I came to the Lord. Funny thing is, is, I grew up in church. I went to a Christian school. I was um, a good girl according to the, the eyes of the people in the world. But the thing is, I was in a lot of darkness in my mind and in my heart. I was in a lot of bondage. Um, Satan had kept me bound um, with just um, thoughts that weren't of God. And um, there was one day I got invited to a Bible study and the love of Christ set me free. Um, I got delivered and set free. I, um, demons cast out of me. Um, and since then, I have been walking with the Lord. Um, I, have, I have gone through struggles. I have backslid. But the thing is, is that God is forever um, faithful and He's forever, the Holy Spirit is forever praying for us. That's one thing that's so awesome as a child of God is that when we go through things, it's not like we um, we um, sorrow like we have no hope. We have hope in Jesus Christ. So even when we have a good day or a bad day, Jesus Christ is still good. He is still Lord and He can be your Lord as well. And one thing I just want to share with you is that it's so true what the Bible says. Um, Jesus says, whom the Son sets free. And if you don't know who the Son is, that is Jesus Christ, you will be free indeed. So if you're in a, if you're in bondage to any addiction, um, drugs, alcohol, sex, um, all these things that the world tries to keep you bound by, um, the cares of this life, I'm telling you that today Jesus Christ can set you free. All you have to do is make a decision today. Choose today, Jesus, because there might not be a tomorrow. It says in the Bible that tomorrow is not promised. But the thing is, I guarantee you, it's the best decision you'll ever make. It's because He sets you free from yourself. You can be free from you. And that's the thing that a lot of people don't understand is that you're in bondage to your, uh, to your own mind, to your own thoughts. But Jesus Christ came to set the captives free and He can set you free. Because that's what the ministry of Jesus Christ, the ministry that Jesus Christ brought is the ministry of reconciliation. And you can be reconciled to the Father through the Son, Jesus Christ. Because in John 14, 6, He says, 
Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by Him, Jesus Christ. And you can be set free today. Just choose Jesus. You don't have to come and talk to us. But even if you're um, in a, you know, a learning space, just call out to Jesus. Because He says, call on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. Because He is the one who never leaves you nor forsakes you. He is the one who never leaves you comfortless. It's Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit is your comforter. So one thing we really push out, it's a relationship with Jesus Christ. A lot of people think it's going to church that sets you free. But the thing is, it's having a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Like I shared before, I grew up in church, but I didn't have a relationship with Jesus Christ. And one thing I really urge you to do is to get personal with Jesus Christ. And you know what's awesome? Is that Jesus is God. So you're having a personal relationship with God himself. That's such a beautiful thing is that God is our Father. And we are his children. So if you want to be a child of God, it's for free. Salvation is free, guys. And only in the name of Jesus Christ. So I encourage you, um, whatever's trying to bind you, bound you to your sin, to your bondage, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that it is broken in the name of Jesus. And I thank you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that you are set free in the name of Jesus. And I thank you, Father, that the power of your blood is alive in Jesus' name. And I thank you, Father, the same power that rose Jesus from the dead 2,000 years ago is the same power that lives inside of us and that can live inside of you. So in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, Lord, for the victory. And I thank you, Father, for the many souls for your kingdom today, whether you be here talking to us or all over the world. Um, Jesus Christ is Lord and I thank you Father may you have your way because you are Lord and you are King Jesus um, today we will share the love of Christ and how one can be transformed and how we've all come out of darkness and into his arm it's like one thing I do really want to share with you just emphasize is that no matter what you go through no matter the tests and trials that you go through the failures that you do that you do and um life in general, like, Jesus Christ is always there, he's just waiting for you. Waiting for you to turn to him and give him, give him your heart so you can live in that new world and your life will be transformed to be amazing. I'm not saying that you won't go through things, but as my um, brother Nella shared, you have peace. Undescribable peace that nothing in this world can give to you. Nothing. Not your partners, not your family, it's not your job, it's not money, nothing. Nothing in this world can give you the peace of Jesus Christ and the love of Jesus Christ. Um, years before I came to Christ, I didn't drink. I was a dog. Woo! Jesus saved dogs as well. Amen. Amen. I love you. I love you. I used to love you on my own. Lonely. Because that was my comfort. I was my own comfort. I came to Christ and like realizing that there are people that really do love you with the love of Jesus Christ and you need to make that first. But then when you stand there, you get to know these people and all they they have share with you is Jesus. And this is the one and this is the person that they're trying to give to you. Gives you the gift of salvation. Like we like shared how Jesus came down and he died for our sins and um he gave us new life but the thing is you can never truly understand it until you're put into a position where you have to give up something that you truly love. And um, when you do, like, think that someone don't, doesn't even know you, you're blind across, so you may have the chance to live eternally in you. And um, I want to share that before I came to Christ, I was, I was a selfish girl. I was really selfish. <laughs> yes, yes, I was selfish. Justified. <laughs> Like, in my head, it was me against the world, like my family, I, I wasn't even a family oriented girl, like I, I had them around me, but it was just me, I depended on myself, and um, it was so hard to come to, to terms that there is someone out there that wants me to depend on them, that wants me to give them my all, and when coming to Christ and realising that Christ really does want me to rely on Him for everything, it has made my life so much easier. I was saying like um, the things in this world will get to you but if you really just look to Jesus and really just remember everything he's done for you, his promises, he promises to give you a better life.
it's put me out of um, a lot of things. And to be honest, if I, um, if I didn't have Jesus, I wouldn't be standing here today, in front of you, telling him, telling you about him. What I would like to do is just encourage you to get to know him. Get to know him because he wants to get to know you. We're not here to please anyone. Only to please Christ. We're only here for one man and that's Jesus Christ. One God. you've been through, what, no matter what um, you've put up with, no matter what people say to you, at the end of the day it, only met, um, it matters to one man, that is Jesus. And what he has done, he has put it on the cross, and now it is finished, and there is life. eternal life and then in the eternal life there is joy there is peace there is happiness right and there is love I came to the faith four years ago my whole life I was brought up in the Catholic Church and I I um I always saw people um, who said they follow God not follow God and so um, there was a lot of hypocrites, you know, a lot of people that hurt um, the ways of God because they said they followed Christ. But uh, all I saw was people drinking and smoking and murmuring. So I grew up in a church that said they followed God and I was, I was hurt by them. So I, I, I chose not to follow God in my young, young age. So in my teen years, I grew up on the streets. Um, Drinking, smoking, on drugs, you know, I, um, I became, you know, um, I tried to get myself involved in a gang just to fit in. Um, when that didn't work out for me, I, I, I turned on women, I, you know, I'd done everything under the, under the sun, you know, because I, I just couldn't find comfort, I couldn't find peace. And so I tried to find it in, in different areas of my life. Um, it wasn't until... Um, I met a person who said they followed Christ and actually lived like Christ. That changed me. It was a person no longer being a hypocrite, but a person who said when they followed God, all the fruits followed. They didn't smoke, they didn't curse, they didn't drink, but it wasn't a bright thing. It was, I just saw pure love and I just saw humility. And that's, those are the two traits that I hardly found in a person who said they followed God all my life. And for everyone that's hearing my voice, I, can, I know for a fact there has been people in the past of your life that have said they have followed God and not, and not have bared fruit. I know they have hurt you in the past, but I can guarantee you there are Christians out there who say they follow Christ and are actually following Christ. When I, when I bear witness to a man following Christ, it changed my life. He introduced the gospel to me. I read it for myself. And then he showed me a ministry full of people who were not pointing me to the church, but were pointing me to Christ. And so I was nurtured and I was taught in the ways of Christ. And as I grew to know the Lord, I began to fall away from smoking, fall away from drinking, alcohol, fighting, drugs, you name it. I'm not standing here saying that I am more righteous than I am perfect. I am not perfect, but God is perfect. And in order to follow God, you must hate sin. There is, people say that we are human. And it is natural to sin. I am telling you that it's a lie from the devil. It is not natural to sin. 
you can repent, fall away from sin, and follow God. This ministry is not a ministry to tickle your ears. We will give you the gospel and what it says. We are not after money. We are not after uh, your commitment to the church. What we are after is your commitment to Christ. Your commitment to eternal life. That is promised to you. That is what we desire. So that's, that's why we're here on the streets. We're not here to tell you that we're better than you. We're not here to tell you that you have to come to our church. We're just here to tell you to follow Jesus.
gave me courage, it gave me strength to enter the midst of the word of God. He said, He can do the same for you. He can do the same for you, too, brother. Amen. He can pray for you. You want prayers? Please come to any of us. We can pray for you right now. If you have any questions, so um, if you you have any questions, it's in the Bible. I want to share to you, there's a book called the Bible, there's an Old Testament and a New Testament. Jesus came in the New Testament to fulfill the Old. If you want a relationship with Christ, it's a pretty New Testament to know one, He sacrificed for us. Jesus sacrificed everything for us. And all He asked for us is to deny His will. Because see, when He came down, He came down, as a man, he humbled himself under the angels and he lived 23 years of his life in this earth. For who? For me and for you. He suffered for us, he took all our burdens and all our worries upon the cross. He got crucified, he got killed because he said, because he, said he came down, he's willing to lay down his life. For his friends. Amen. And he looked at this whole world and his friends and his family and he came down and he sacrificed his life for all of us. The good, the good news is, the good news, he resurrected after three days. He defeated death. Hello, everyone. I just want to share a quick word with you. It's also to tell because of our sins, the love of God will brought the Lord Jesus to come. God on the cross has paid a sacrifice that you and I could not pay. And the awesome thing is that even though we can't get, out, get through this journey on ourselves, because of the love of God, when Jesus rose from the dead, when He went up and He said, I will send you a comforter, I will send you a helper. And see, the awesome thing is that Jesus didn't leave us comfortless or without help. See, it is very hard to overcome certain addictions, certain struggles in your world in your life but that's the awesome thing is that the love of god he sent us the holy spirit which is our helper now you don't have to fight it alone you have the holy you receive the holy spirit of god when you accept jesus and he's on to help you guides you teaches you and shows you how to break free from whether it's an addiction a struggle whatever it is it's awesome how to the holy spirit that's where the freedom is. He's the one that teaches you, shows you, helps you to continue in the Lord Jesus, in the righteous ways of God. So if you're out, if you're out there and sick of going around in circles, trying to change, being there, done that, I encourage you, you don't have to fight alone. And that's why Jesus went up, so He can give, send down His Holy Spirit to help you get over whatever it is that you're struggling with. If you want to know more about this gift of the Holy Spirit that God sent down to all who see Jesus, many of us here are more to share more with you on who this Holy Spirit is, who Jesus is, and what the whole purpose of Jesus' death and resurrection was all about. So God bless you everyone, we love you very much, that's why we're here, we love Jesus, and I want to share what He's given to us with you. Praise God. Hello, everyone. I just want to say that it's an honor and a privilege to be standing here to, to tell you the truth and to tell you that Jesus Christ is the only one that can set you free. I know that each and every one of you have probably heard the saying that the truth will set you free. Where the world got that saying, that's actually a Bible verse, and that was quoted by Jesus Christ Himself. And saying that the only way that you can be set free is by Him and Him alone. I just want to share with you all that the reason why we stand here and we preach the gospel, the reason why we come out here to take our time, we come and tell you this because. What the Lord Jesus Christ has done in our lives. And, uh, we truly believe that it's not by chance or by coincidence that we're here in Blacktown today to tell you about the Lord Jesus Christ. 
And we have come out today with the love of the Lord Jesus Christ to give you the hope of glory and the hope of salvation. Only found in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. No one and nothing else. He says, in John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. And whomsoever shall believe in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. In many religions nowadays, you have to work your way to get into heaven or get into a good place. But for Christianity, the message of Christianity, the only, have to, the only thing you have to do is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and the finished work of the cross and what Jesus had done. Jesus left everything that he possibly had in heaven just to come down here on earth to be that living sacrifice to put his life on the line just to give us eternal life. I know that this is special to someone. We are out here tonight, or today, to share with someone. I know this is speaking directly to someone's heart. Someone is holding some kind of unforgiveness. Someone is holding some kind of bitterness. Someone in them is they have this they don't know why they've been having this anger. Someone here today has got fear. Someone here today has got some heavy laden and heavy burden upon their shoulders. The reason why we know this is because that, that's each and every one of us. We all had that once. Until we came to the Lord Jesus Christ and Jesus himself took it away from us. No one else. We went to alcoholism. We tried the drugs. We tried sleeping around. We tried the nightclub scene. We tried everything that this world could possibly offer. But nothing to satisfy what the Lord Jesus Christ, compared to what the Lord Jesus Christ, has done in our lives. Only Jesus can give you the true peace. The true love that you're looking for, you can't find it anywhere else. It's the only way that you can find it is in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I know that many, today is a Sunday, you'll find many Christian churches. But I'm telling you, we're bringing the church out to you guys. Yeah. To give you guys the hope of salvation Woo! and to let you know that there's someone that yeah. loves you and his name is Jesus yes. Christ. We believe that there is power in the name of Jesus Christ. We believe that there is power in the blood. And we believe that there is power in the finished work of the cross. Woo! And what Jesus Christ done on the cross, he didn't do it in vain. But he did it for you and he did it for us. Jesus Christ loves each and every one of you. I know for a matter of fact, there's been a time in your life where you've sat there and you've just sat in your room or you've sat in a place by yourself and you've asked yourself questions. God, if you're real, show me. Why am I going through so much? Why am I going through this, this sickness? Or why am I going through so much pain and so much suffering? And I'm telling you, the only answer is Jesus Christ. Give it all to Him. Everything. Do not hold a, a little thing back. Give everything to Him. I give glory and I give praise to the Lord Jesus Christ because we stand here and even though you can smile at us, Jesus Christ knows that you're really suffering and there's really pain in your heart. But the only person that can deal with your heart and change your heart is God Himself. And His name is Jesus. Yes, that's right. I said that Jesus Christ is God. Jesus Christ is God. Amen. Jesus Christ is Lord and Jesus Christ is the Savior. The reason why He's the Savior is because He's the only one that can possibly save us from hell. I praise God and I give Him glory. I thank You, Jesus. I thank You. I give glory to the Lord Jesus Christ because we're out here in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We know that You're going to be set free. We know that You're going to be healed. We know that You're going to be delivered. It's because it's only done in the name of Jesus and not by our own righteousness. We're not coming here just to try and prove or try and make it look like we're holy. No, we're not. It's only by the blood of Jesus Christ. It's only by Jesus Christ that we're able to stand here and tell you the truth that Jesus Christ is the only way, the only truth, and the life, and that no one can come to the Father but by Jesus. That's what he said. No other way. You can't get into heaven. No other way. But one way. That is the way is 
the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. I want to share with you a message of truth. There is a billion ways into hell, but not a single way out. And I'm telling you, the only way out of hell right now is you believe in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It comes to true repentance and turn away from your sin and give everything to God. And He will change you. You're looking at ex drug addicts, ex drug addicts, you're looking at ex um drunk kids, you look at you're looking at ex brawlers, people that just go around bashing people for no reason. But the only reason why we look, look at us. Many people look at us, man, you guys are so big, but so, so gentle. The reason being is because Jesus Christ changed their hearts. We love you very much. And we truly do mean it. We love you very much and we truly mean it because it is the love of the Lord Jesus Christ. If we were to stand here with our own love, it would be by our own righteousness and it would be by our own works. The best thing about the eternal gift of the Lord Jesus Christ, it's a gift, it's your choice whether you want to take it or not. The best thing about the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ is that Jesus Christ never forced himself on anyone else. All he came was just to give them the love and give them the truth and the hope that they would turn and believe in him. him. We thank you. Man, we give all glory to Jesus Christ. We thank you that you guys are even walking past. I know that you guys can hear me in Jesus' name. And in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you, Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name that the seed has fallen upon each and every person's heart right now in Jesus' name. And every bit of suffering and every bit of pain right now is broken in Jesus' name. And I thank you, Father God, that every bitterness and unforgiveness in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I rebuke you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Fall off the shoulders, heavy heart, heavy laden and heavy burden right now. And I thank you, Jesus, for the love of the Lord Jesus Christ that will truly set these people free in Jesus' name. It's not by our enticing words, Lord Jesus, but I thank you, Father God, it's by your wisdom and it's by your power and the power in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and the power in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ and the power in the finished work of the cross and I thank you, Lord Jesus, that there is power in the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ is Lord, no one else. Jesus Christ is Lord, no one else. Jesus Christ is Lord, not Muhammad, not Buddha, no one else. Jesus Christ is Lord. The only way to heaven is by the name of Jesus and Him alone. Jesus came and He's here to give you life. You believe in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you guys. Jesus, by the name, the Lord will have your way. God bless Lord you. Lord Jesus, have your perfect will upon every person here in Black Town. We give you all the glory and thank you. How great is our God? Jesus Christ is Lord. Thank you, Father. Jesus, mighty name. Amen.